When you and I commit a sin and we are human, we will, we have, we shall. Remember, when you regret the sin, it is a sign that you believe in Allah. Subhanallah. Whatever you've done, what, no matter how old you are, no matter what gender you are, no matter where you come from, your race, whatever you have done against Allah's instruction, if it makes you regret, you still have a lot of hope in the mercy of Allah. It's a sign of Iman. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in one narration says, when your good deed makes you happy, makes you calm, makes you feel good, and when your bad deed makes you regret, then you're a true believer. It shows that you believe in Allah. That's why you're regretting the sin. That's why you're feeling good about the good deed you did. If you didn't regret it, it means you've got no one you're answerable to. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves it when you regret your sin. You committed something, you drank alcohol, you, you had a bit of a drug, may Allah save God, all of us. Whatever wrong you've done, immediately thereafter you say, Astaghfirullah, I shouldn't have done this. Astaghfirullah, may Allah forgive me. I shouldn't have done this. So you regret it. You feel remorse. That's what happened to Adam alayhi salam. Then he said a few words unto Allah. In one verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that, he taught him some words. And in another verse, Allah says, Talaqqa Adamu min rabbihi kalimatin fataba alayhi. You see, the words were taught by Allah. They were repeated by Adam alayhi salam. And he said these words. What were these words? Subhanallah. These are some of the most powerful words. We all need these words. Rabbana zalamna anfusana. Wa illam taghfir lana. Wa tarhamna lana kunanna min al khasirin. O oh Allah, O oh our Rabb, you know, O oh our Rabb, Rabbana, O oh our Rabb. What is the meaning of Rabbun? Rabb is the one who created you in the first place and who has absolute control of every aspect of your existence. He's called Rabbun. All your growth depends totally on Him. Your food, your sustenance, your health, whatever, you know, He nourishes, cherishes, provides, protects, and cures, etc., etc. That's Rabbun. So that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Rabbana, O oh our Rabb. Oh, our Rabb. Sometimes if you're alone, you can say Rabbi. Rabbi meaning my Rabb. And Rabbi without the Ya also refers to my Rabb. Because in the Arabic language, you are allowed to drop that Ya when it comes to Rabbun, Rabbi. So here he says, Rabbana, Valamna. We have oppressed Anfusana ourselves. We have wronged ourselves. Oh Allah, we are the ones who perpetrated a sin. We committed a crime. We did something wrong. We did something we were not supposed to do. That is the meaning of Valamna Anfusana. وَإِلَّمْ تَغْفِرْ لَنَا And if you are not going to forgive us, وَتَرْحَمْنَا And if you are not going to have mercy on us, لَنَكُونَنَّ مِنَ الْخَاسِرِينَ We are the ones who will definitely be the losers. You're not going to lose anything. We will lose. That dua is seeking forgiveness of Allah. It's the proper way of asking Allah's forgiveness. It was taught to Adam alayhi salam by Allah. It was repeated by Adam alayhi salam. Allah forgave him as a result, but he was sincere, there was remorse, and he did, he did not do it again. 